you believe you see you believe that the Bible is the truth absolutely everything in it is absolutely true well, I believe the King so, James all so since you're not of my tribe it's okay for me to, it's okay for me to take you as a slave right because it says in well the New not Testament this country is against the law but the, this is above the law right according to your thinking right I've seen what God says is above the law right and supposedly the law came from God so it's above the law and I should be able to take well, you I, I think we were talking about right and divine and word of truth back there too the theocracy and what was going on back there doesn't matter the, tr the Bible says that it's okay to have slaves and it's okay to have the children as your slaves forever that's a specific phrase in there I don't remember which one but you don't believe that's true or allowed anymore right you believe that slavery is okay yes I or believe no? there is differences doctrinally between the Old Testament and the New Testament. The, the New Bible, Testament. The whole Bible is true still, or false, right? It's all f true. It's, it's all, all true. Absolutely so the true. New Testament is true, and therefore is. slavery is okay. And therefore slavery is in there. The flat is. Absolutely. So it's true. It's okay. It's, it's true under a properly, proper slave owner relationship. But you, it don't, is. you don't think that slavery is right, do you? Well, our culture, you know, our the, the right. Has changed, yes. And the you right don't think under it's right. a right circumstance. Oh, what God says is all that matters to me. Sure, so God says it's okay to have slaves. I follow what God said over any government. Okay, fine. So, But you don't think slavery is correct? Or do you have slaves? No, I don't have any. You don't have any. But it's okay for you to have slaves. Well, I will not be your slave. No but you could be mine. to have one as a New Testament Christian. <laughs> Say that again. I said I have no desire to have one as a New Testament. But you're allowed to. And if I wanted to have a slave, I'm allowed to do and a the lot Bible of things says I can have one, right? And it'd be okay according to the Bible. But you and I agree, I think, from what I'm gathering from, that having slaves is not morally correct. Well, not according to today's morality. Right. Not today's So that's morality. overriding our thinking. That we in today's even... morality, we now recognize that owning another human being is not moral. But, but, but where did we get that, that back, idea from? Part of that back there. Most of your slave. Where's your slavery today? In other it's countries. It's a non-Christian nation. I don't know. Actually, the United States has some slavery. That's, yeah, That's and it's a The United States, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, is one of the biggest slave trade. Today? Yes. Today. Like, right now. They have slaves. Yeah, actually, in, I think it was Passion, which is a group of Christians, recently raised money to start outlawing and to defa or to fund entities that fight modern day sex slavery, which actually gets a lot of its slaves and people from the United States. So I don't know what you're talking about. You, you, you said that Christian nations the are- most, The most of the slavery today, what? all around the globe. With, what did you say? I'm sorry. I, I said the you. Muslims are Muslims are enslaving all around the globe. Yeah. Muslims are enslaving. Their religion is a but, forced religion. But you Christianity are, is a is a you, is a, a religion of this, offering and holding out. Doesn't to matter. You and I agree that slavery is not morally acceptable. Do you agree with that? I said in the moral, morality of today, it is socially unacceptable. Is do you agree with but that? But it is or advocated not? in the Bible. I believe you know what God wants is what God. You know, so what God says there, it's okay. At that time, so according to God, it is. But according to you and I, as I'm well, gathering, I, I'm not. I am not. You actually not, agree that slavery is okay. I am. I, in a biblical sense, yes. Well, how can a biblical sense be different from your personal belief? Yeah, the relationship in there. I didn't say from my personal belief. I said the morals today say it is unacceptable. Well, where did those come from? But there's a lot of things out here in this country today that are unacceptable to the book. The morals today are... Like you're saying slavery? that the morals today are uh, unacceptable? Is it a problem that we consider it unacceptable? Well, I didn't are say you bothered that. that, we're, that we no, I'm it, not bothered at all about it. The only thing I'm out here for today is to spread the, the word of a living we God that will that. say that's We understand all, that's that. All. But, but if there were slavery happening right now, you wouldn't say that's that's morally unacceptable. You, you wouldn't say... You know, there's a very different type of slavery in the Bible. It, it's laid out there that you wouldn't understand that is not the kind of slavery you're how thinking you know of. How you you well, I'm not saying that. Price. Maybe he does know if he does know. Then I apologize for 
saying that. Well, I'm saying that in the Bible, that slavery relationship there is a proper slave owner relationship. So there is a where proper it was, one. It was treated, at, they were treated absolutely right. They, As they were, why they, they treated they, they don't the slave they were, so that they die within two uh, days, uh, it's okay. Uh, that's in the Bible, very clear. Two days. If they survive the, your beating two days, then they're okay. Where they so I could leave. cut your nose That's off and I could slice yours up and beat you for 24 hours.